uh, today we're looking at the Toshiba Excite X10 tablet, the world's thinnest, one of the world's lightest, and a form factor that's a 10.1 inch display. Uh, what's unique about this product is, uh, yes, it's, it's running uh, Android, it's a Toshiba product, but how we've been able to get it so, so thin that uh, the thinnest is around 7 millimeters. And what happens is, uh, the, the way we've been able to achieve that is uh, using a, a different material. Instead of using plastic or aluminum, this material is a magnesium alloy material that enables you to get it much thinner. But at that you know, thinness, you're going to compromise some quality. So again, we're using uh, Gorilla Glass by Corning to, to try to make it a little bit more durable. At the same time, you know, to get it that thin, we're, we're not only just putting the, the LCD on top of a touch um, panel, Oh, we're actually bonding the two uh, um, uh, components together to save the one millimeter uh, thickness. So you race to the very, very thinnest, and and if you if you uh, at this level, you know you, every millimeter counts, right? So when the, from a hardware standpoint, we may have to do that. But you know what? We're not compromising anything in a sense because we still have your full port functionality for expandability, your micro SD card for expandable, uh, available in 16 and 32, but you can put a 128 gig SD card in there, a micro SD, mini HDMI, micro HDMI, in fact, for outputting to a high definition TV if you're watching a high definition movie, uh, and mini um, micro USB for syncing, and of course your headphone jack. And, uh, and we mentioned the movie, the, the resolution on this is a 1200 by 800 resolution. Uh, so from a hardware standpoint, we've also been able to incorporate some of the buttons here just to make it more convenient. Power button, turn on, turn off, turn on, volume, and lock rotation. So we can actually lock it in without having the tablet automatically rotate, right? Or, see, now it's locked in. Yeah. Okay. So from a software standpoint, understanding that there's this gap between laptops and tablets and how do you get create folders, how do you copy and paste things on a touch interface, well, what Toshiba has done is just create a really simple app for that purpose, uh, Toshiba's file manager, the ability to now see what folders are on your system, as well as if you had an SD card in here, you would see the SD on the right hand side, or do it directly through um, a screen capture, internal storage, I can create a new folder, and let's do <laughs> See, I, I've created yeah. a folder, and I can open that folder. I can drag and on, on copy and paste some files into there, or I can create a folder within a folder. So I can manage my files more efficiently. And in addition to that content, this is a very, very mobile device, and you're going to be carrying it around the house. So you want to access your content throughout the house, uh, either whether it be on your laptop or your all-in-one computer. Uh, you, we've created a, another simple app. It's called the Toshiba Media Player, whereby you can now access content anywhere throughout the house as long as you're on the network. So you can access your movies, your videos that you've created, the uh, you know photos, music, of course, uh, through your NAS server uh, again, or through other devices that are storing the content. As long as they're in the same network, on the same network, this application will search, find everything, and organize neatly for you. So in this case, I've uh, I've got some photos for me that I've stored okay so we can go back that's that's from a software standpoint again we um, this is running honeycomb 3.2 we, we've kind of kept it familiar uh, as not to confuse consumers too much uh, you have an Android based phone let's uh, transition seamlessly to an Android based device right. but at the same time adding some additional features such as our our uh, file manager and uh, the Chief, Toshiba media player uh, in addition to that from an audio standpoint and video standpoint we've got we've also uh, and tried to have um, enhancements such as an audio enhancement so we're putting SRS technology in there to boost the sound a little bit in addition to that we've got Toshiba's audio enhancement uh, to also boost the uh, the sound quality and the clarity as well so not only hardware changes but software and some uh, more in-depth setting to make the whole experience a lot better yeah no that's one thing I you know in my reviewing of the and, and hands-on and really using the thrive over the course of the time I spent with it uh, one thing I can say about Toshiba as opposed to other manufacturers was the idea of needing to polish the tablet make it a rounded experience and not just leave as much as we all or some of us may enjoy stock experiences 
uh, again, you know, to take it from being a bridge device, as you've been talking about, and really, you know, making it something that hopefully you can use in place of a computer and still have the, fam the familiarity of, as you mentioned, your smartphone. Uh, in this case, obviously, with Honeycomb. Um, ice cream sandwich, uh, the roadmap for that. Will be available either uh, installed on the tablet or or over the air. Re regardless of what happens, you will get ICS, uh, ice cream sandwich, on the device. Okay, and you said that uh, launch for this would be? Uh, first, first uh, early Q1. Okay. Early Q1. Uh, one more thing I want to mention. Yes. So I mentioned the OTA, the over the air update. Yeah. And how we do that is we have a uh, another feature that we put in there just to make download the, the updates pretty easy is our Toshiba service station and what that does is it, you know anytime we have some software updates you launch Toshiba's service station it you know, pushes everything as long as you're connected anything that's valuable and, and what's needed uh, onto the tablet without really having to connect to a PC or or um, other devices to update. So right now, obviously, there's no software available. But if you did, did see a software, it would show up on the right-hand side, or you can manually check it if, if uh, you've had the network off for some time. Yeah. Again, just a more polished. Uh, there's no other tablet you're going to look at uh, that instead of just going through your standard update process. Just another thing you guys have thought of, which is certainly nice to see out of the box for any tablet. Um, there are two different capacities, you said? We have a 16 inch, um, 16 okay. gigabyte and a 32 gigabyte, uh, 579 and 599, 16 and 32 respectively. Okay, and um, the front and rear cameras were rated at what? Two, two megapixels in the front, five megapixels in the back. Okay, and uh, as far as um, accessories for this product? Bluetooth, how Bluetooth keyboards, Bluetooth. Mouse, if you need to. Because I, I know how far you guys went with the Thrive, so Correct. that's why I had to ask. Um, cases, uh, docking station, uh, again, uh, just to kind of complete the, the experience a lot. So yeah. uh, if, if you don't want to show off the really cool feature, all right, and you can put a case around it. Um, so we're, we're developing a lot of accessories to complement that. Obviously, expandability with uh, USB devices and also um, also SD, right, micro SD slots. So. And again, you said the um, micro SD card slot was capable of up to 128 gigs. Right. Yes. Also impressive. First manufacturer I've heard at the show that's actually been able to say firmly we're going to support up to 128 gigs. So really nice looking tablet. Again, this is the uh, Excite and 10.1-inch uh, display, and that was a 720p display, correct? Yes. So, looking forward to seeing this hit the market, and uh, unless there's anything else you had to add. All right, now, just uh, you'd be looking forward to early Q1 in uh, retail and uh, online at ShibaDirect.com or your local retailers. Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.